Hey everyone, welcome to our channel After School and this is Gayatri Patel, your physics map. So guys, how are you all and I hope you uh, your revision is going smooth and also productive. So in this, uh, as we already know, uh, we are having last 10 years uh, PYQ questions. I mean, uh, previous year questions from all the chapters, right? So all the chapters, right? And we are having chapter wise uh, questions. So on this basis, today in this today's video, we are going to discuss all the previous year questions from the chapter Refraction of Light at Spherical Lenses. And for your information, here we in this uh, video, we uh, I have all, also mentioned that this uh, one information that for TS, we only have refraction at lenses, I mean spherical uh, surfaces, but AP, we have refraction at plane surfaces and also. Uh, this uh, curved surfaces. So, in this video, I have combined all previous, I mean, plane uh, surfaces and uh, lenses, both chapters, previous questions in the single video, this video only. So, without wasting time, let's get started. And with this, uh, let's start with uh, first uh, uh, short answer questions. That is one more question. And let's see the first question. In what cases does the light ray not deviate at the interface of two media. So here he is asking that when light ray does not deviate, when it is going from one medium to another medium, can you give me any uh, cases? Yes, there are a very uh, important uh, two cases we have discussed in the class two. So that is when light ray is going from uh, one medium to one uh, another medium, light get uh, bends because of it's a change in refractive index, right? What if there is no change in the medium, no change in refractive index in the medium? Then there won't be any diffraction, right? So refraction, right? So here we can consider one case that when it is going from one medium to another medium, if the refractive index of both the medium is same. So this is one case and what about another case when light ray is going from along the normal then it won't uh, refract right n1 is it is n2 then we can consider n1 is equals to n2 on on this condition light ray don't refract and also when light ray incident ray is along the normal passes along the normal then in this case also no refraction right and yes now let's see another question so a light ray is entering from rarer medium a to denser medium b as shown in the figure then complete the path of the light in the medium b and draw whole diagram in your answer sheet so here they have given uh, ray diagram and asking us to complete it in our answer sheet right so let's see what they have given information is they have given two mediums right so that it is the interface of both the media and also they have given a normal right so normal also let's take the normal so yes let, it is our uh, normal and here the incident ray he considered as along the optical center now this is medium one and this is medium two when the, uh, it, when it is going from uh, one medium to another medium along the normal then is there any in, uh, diffraction it, then the ray will not be created it goes in the same path okay so here we can consider it as it is the ray diagram okay and the ray the refractive ray we can we can write it as the refracted ray does not deviate does not deviate okay so this is the ray diagram for this and also they have given one more uh, ray diagram and asking us to complete this so in this cases if you see this clearly the ray diagram uh, in the ray diagram all the incident rays are incidenting are parallel parallelly right but 
every ray is making some angle with principal axis right so on this cases we have uh, we need to uh, remember two points whenever there is a, a parallel light parallel uh, rays uh, beam of uh, light incidenting on a, any lens then all the rays all the parallel rays converges at one point okay so this is one point converges at one point but the thing is where where exactly is that point located so here you can consider if you consider the parallel line here then parallel to uh, one line which is passing through the optical center then it won't uh, uh, deviate right so here we can consider i am just taking the uh, ray diagram itself here only i am just drawing it yes here i have considered a parallel lay passing through the optical center right now yes here we have considered a focal uh, plane so on this point where this inter where this uh, line intersecting at this point all these parallel lines intersect converges right so let's draw them so yes this is how all this parallel beam of light converges at one point on the focal plane yes so we'll get image at focal plane fine and yes let's see the next question okay so till now in this chapter we don't have much a uh, very short answer question so let's discuss short very uh, short answer question so here see the question write the lens formula and explain the terms in it for this single question we have two marks so here he barely asked the formula right single line formula what is the lens formula as we already know it is 1 by f is equals to 1 by v minus 1 by u and and one more point he is asked that uh, explain the terms in it that means f so f is nothing but focal length of the lens okay and v v is nothing but image distance image distance that means the distance from the object uh, image to the optical center and u is nothing but object distance that is the distance from the object to the optical center right that's it only for this you will get two marks okay don't neglect the formulas and also we have similar question so that he, in this he asked the lens makers formula so what is lens maker formula for example if we have this uh, lens okay this lens has some refractive index n and this is the optical center and yes this has some uh, here it is focal center and here it is the center right now the this is the first curve right so since it is the first curve then we consider it as uh, radius 1 and this is the radius 2 because it is the uh, radius of this surface this curvature so here these are the two radius and we'll get the refractive index also we have and the focal length so it has since the object we have placed object somewhere here on this side then we'll get the image this side right so object Uh, here it is the focus so now we need to find the, we have a formula lens formula to find the foc uh, focal length of the lens that is 1 by f is equals to n minus 1 that is n means refractive index and 1 by r1 minus 1 by r2 whenever we are substituting values in it we need to consider sign convention right and also he asked us to explain the terms in it so what are the terms here first we have f so f uh, we have already discussed uh, just now that it is focal length so f is focal length of the lens and n n is the refractive index of the lens fine and r1 r1 and r2 are the radii of the curvature radii of lens curvature of lens got it that's it for this for, uh, for this uh, answer you'll get two marks of course uh, it, if you draw this diagram then it will be more uh, uh, benefit beneficial and now we have a uh, numerical that uh, he's asking 
first up, whenever uh, there is a tip that whenever you are writing, you are reading the question for the first time, just mark the important terms you will. If you are not uh, uh, got it by in the first reading, then no problem, uh, read it for the next time and also whenever you are reading the question only, then mark the given uh, values. So here, see, I am reading the question. The ray of light enters from air to the medium. Okay, air to a medium, that means it is rarer to the denser medium, that's fine. So, the speed of light in the medium, so they have given speed of light in the medium. That means this value will be equals to uh, V. V is 1.5 into 10 to the power of 8 meter per second, right? And also he has mentioned the speed of light in the air. So, here it is one more value, we need to write it down. So, C is... Value in the air, I can consider it is very similar to uh, speed in the vacuum, right? So, I am just considering it as C, so the, that is P into 10 to the power of 8 meter per second. And he is asking us to find the refractive index of the medium, right? So, how to find it? We already know from the formula, uh, refractive index formula, we already know it is nothing but the speed of, uh, ratios of speed of light in the uh, vacuum to the speed of light in the medium, right? So, let's just substitute these values. Here it is 1 point, uh, sorry, so C value is 3 into 10 to the power of 8 meter per second by, here V value is 1.5 into 10 to the power of 8, right? So 10 power 8, 10 power 8 will get cancelled, 1.11 sign 1.12. So here the refractive index is 2 and there is no units. Fine. It will be good if you mention this as well. Two convex lenses. So here also we have a situation that he has given two convex lenses of same focal length in a fixed uh, are fixed in a PYP, uh, PVC pipe. Okay, how they are uh, fixed at a distance double to its focal length. What happens if boy sees the moon with uh, that arrangement? So moon is a far object, right? And the arrangement is that. So first uh, let's uh, consider the arrangement. So, here they have fixed these two in a PYC pipe, right? So, how this PYP uh, pipe will be if we see it from the side, okay? We are, we are uh, observing this from the side. So, guys, this is the arrangement here. And here we just considered a PVP pipe and we are observing it from the side. And in that PVC pipe, we have located two uh, yes, here we have considered two uh, lenses. So, which lenses they have, he has mentioned? Convex lenses, right? So, this is our first lens and this is our second lens. Now, these two are uh, located uh, with the distance double to the focal length and these two have same focal length. So, here it is the focal length and it is also focal length and that means the total distance is 2f. So, double the focal length we have located and if you consider this midpoint, it is the focus for uh, this lens too and it is the focus for this lens too, right? Now, what's happening is moon is somewhere around very uh, far object, right? Now, the rays coming from this uh, uh, moon is uh, parallel, right? So, let's take parallel rays. So, here I have considered two parallel rays and we know that whenever parallel beam of light incident on this concave le convex lens, it converges all these rays at the one point right that is focus so guys here you can see these two rays are uh, exactly intersecting at one point right that is focus that is uh, located on the principal axis from from these two lanes uh, two rays uh, from from this point if these two rays falls on the another convex lens which is placed at double the focal double to the focal length right so then here these two rays incidenting along the focus so when a light ray incident when the incident ray is along the focus then a con convex lens gives a parallel refracted ray right so a uh, refracted rays from the first uh, lenses again we can see parallel refracted rays so here it is the moon side okay from here observer is observing this moon and we, we are getting parallel rays from the moon as well. Now the next question is complete the below ray diagram. So here he has given one convex 
concave and for your information don't get confused that here we are uh, we uh, represent convex lens with arrangement like this this type of ray and if it is concave lens then we represent it with this kind of ray right so now here what is this ray here it is a concave lens right so now concave lens uh, on the con on this concave lens the lens, uh, ray is incidenting along the uh, sharp along the center right now we don't know what happens if it uh, passes along the along the center so on this cases i'm just considering a parallel ray which is going through the optical center right now this is one case and another uh, point is that i'm just uh, drawing the refracted ray from here anyway convex concave lens is a di uh, diverging lens right so the ray will uh, diffract refract like this so but uh, if you consider uh, if you observe these two rays these two are diverging from each other right so we don't get any real image this case so if we uh, just uh, extend this diverging rays in the backward direction then these two rays will get converged at this point that is exactly on the focus focal plane sorry focal plane so this is how we can write the we can complete the diagram okay i hope you have understood this now so in the question here he is asking that what happens to the image if a convex lens is made of two different transparent materials and sh as shown in the figure so here we got a convex lens and it has two uh, surface transparent materials that is it is one material and it is another material right but we do uh, we do have studied that every material has its own refract i mean its uh, center ref uh, refractive index right so here it is also have some refractive index n1 and it also have some refractive index n2 so if whenever a light ray is light ray a parallel beam of light incident on this so according to this refractive index it bends uh, differently so we'll get two images two images we can get and the same in the same for format we have, we do also have one more question that but in the case in this case he has given uh, five cases that it is first case and second third medium and it is fourth medium and this is the fifth medium and every medium has its own refractive index right so on this in this case so how many images we can expect yes five images will get from this type this kind of convex lens got it and yes we do have one more uh, ray diagram so here what's asking write the characteristics of the image formed by the object okay which is placed uh, behind the here you can clearly say that so this is a convex lens and yes it is a uh, optical center and this is focus and it is center now the object is placed behind the center now let's draw the uh, diagram so here anyway we can also know uh, these two are the focus and the center on the other side right now what to do to complete this uh, ray diagram we just need to consider two uh, parallel ray i mean two uh, ray incident rays that one i am one i am considering as a parallel one and the other one i am considering it just passing through the optical center so the ray which is passing through the optical center uh, does not deviate and we need we just need to draw refracted ray for the ray which is pa uh, uh, which is passing parallel to the principal axis so as we already studied the convex uh, lens converges a parallel ray uh, to the fork at the focus right so this parallel ray converges so this is how we will get the parallel uh, refracted rays and these two rays are intersecting at this point which is uh, the mid uh, which is uh, between focus and center of curvature so here i can expect the image of the object that is on inverted here i can expect the object fine so but here the image is let's write the characteristic he also asked us the characteristics right first characteristics is we found the image between focus and center of curvature and we got the image of uh, real uh, real or inverted yes it is a real and inverted image 
after that what about its size is it increased or decreased yes we can observe that it is decreased uh, slightly right so we can consider it is it has a diminished image fine yes this is enough for this question because it is only two marks we have for one mark we have already drawn the ray diagram and for this uh, another mark we just given the characteristics right and now it's time for the long answer questions long answer questions are uh, generally in one uh, uh, board it is four marks and in another board uh, it is six marks so whatever it is but we just need to give the a complete answer right so that's why I, here i'm not mentioning the marks but the questions so first question here what is the role of lenses in our daily life so he didn't mention that which lens uses of convex lens uses of concave lens right is by your own good because if you mention the concave lens and if you give the wrong uh, use then you'll lose the marks there so here let's just without mentioning the convex uh, lenses name hello so let's just uh, give the uses in our daily life so first where we'll use this lenses so lenses we can see in magnifying lens we can use this lenses as magnifying lens right and also where else we can see we can see it in a uh, camera lenses okay camera lens and also we can see this in telescopes okay microscopes binoculars and also we do have uh, you we do have applications of it in our correcting the defects of vision so in spectacles okay these are few examples of the lenses and here you can even uh, give one or two uh, sentence answer uh, uses to because magnifying lens what magnifying lens do it gives the uh, magnified image of the letters which are very small in the book right so that you can mention camera lenses camera lens gives a diminished image of whatever the big object or else it can also magnify the uh, we can also get magnified image and also the diminished image from the camera lenses you can mention here telescopes telescopes we generally use uh, telescopes to see the far objects right so far objects we cannot see uh, the uh, stars and other uh, astronomical objects but we can observe it uh, with the use of telescopes and also microscopes it gives the diminished image uh, sorry it gives the magnified very big magnified image of the object for example if you take uh, micro particles like uh, electrons neutrons okay and also uh, atoms molecules so you can observe all this by using microscopes okay that means it, these are very small uh, objects but we are get by using microscopes we are getting a very large magnified uh, object of this and binoculars same it gives uh, the clear image of the far objects and spectacles to correct the vision okay to correct the defect of vision so here at least give one or two sentence of explanation for every use defects of vision okay because it is a four marks answer you cannot just give the uses uh, in one word so you just need at least you just need to mention by the purpose of the uh, usage and the next question explain the behavior of light rays in any four situations of the uh, incidence on a convex lens so here basically he is asking light uh, behavior of light rays behavior of light rays is different from the uh, ray diagrams all the ray diagrams you have in the textbooks so of behavior is uh, behavior means how it reacts okay, how it uh, refract for example if it is parallel to the principal axis or if it is going along the focus and if it is uh, going along the um, optical center in all these cases how the refracted ray bends so that exactly we have to write in this question so in last uh, last year also and they, i have seen so many students got confused by this question they simply write all the six cases of convex lens because they only see the behavior and the convex lens so so just simply they wrote all the six they uh, uh, ray diagrams so 
let's have the uh, cases so for the first case let's take the uh, incident ray is along incident ray is parallel to the so guys here i have considered a convex lens and also uh, marked all the optical centers and optical center focus and centers of curvature right now i am considering the incident ray which is parallel to the principal axis right so this is uh, incident ray now the refracted ray bends along the focus so this is one kind first uh, case that it uh, refracted rays along the focus so this is the first case and the next case is that if the refracted ray is if the incident ray is passing through optical center So let's see what happens. If the refracted ray is passing through optical center, then the ray does not deviate. We'll get this kind of refracted ray. Now the third case is if the refracted ray is along the focus, then what happens? Now the refract uh, incident ray is along the focus after incidenting like this. Okay. Mm. Now it gives a parallel refracted ray like this okay and this is the third case and one more point is if it is along the principal axis then there won't be any deviation okay so the next case this is the third case that if the incident ray is along the focus incident ray is along the focus then the refracted ray is parallel to principal axis parallel to principal axis this is about refracted ray okay this is the third case and the fourth case is that if it is along the if incident ray is along the principal axis is along the principal axis then the then refracted ray does not deviate here either you can uh, choose a different uh, ray diagram for each and every case or else you can mention all the ray diagrams in a single one but uh, this is only for your clarification but uh, if you draw it for every uh, point every case if you draw the different uh, uh, separate diagram it will be very good for the examiner to understand the case now we are asking the, in the next question draw the ray diagram to form the image when the object is placed be, placed between focus and center focus and center on the principal axis of convex lens one more important uh, point and also asking us to write the characteristics of the image formed right so now let's start the ray diagram first for the first time considering a convex lens now we are considering the object placed between f focus and center right so the object will be focus between focus and center yes i have considered object like this now we what we need to do we just need to consider two incident rays right so for first i am just taking so first i am just considering a parallel incident ray okay and also one more uh, incident ray is along the focus so it is non deviated right now for the ray which is parallel to the uh, principal axis it deviates along the focus so guys if you observe this these two rays are intersecting at one point which is beyond the center right so if you just uh, uh, consider this point as the image of a and this is b then this point is image of a now you will get the image uh, image like this right so now let's let's just write the characteristics of this image so for, for the first one 
it is where it is located it is beyond so for the first where it is located so it is located beyond c or behind c you can consider and also what about the size of the image it is very magnified okay or enlarged you can consider magnified image we got and is this image is real or virtual yes it is of course it is a real image and also it is inverted image okay so these are the characteristics of the image formed when we placed object between center and focus then we'll get the image beyond a uh, center got it so these are the uh, diagram and characteristics now let's just and also let's just uh, write at least one or two sentences for each and uh, every processor like how you got uh, this image here so you just need to mention that you have considered one uh, incident ray which is parallel and another incident ray which is uh, going through optical center the ray which is parallel that uh, refracts uh, along the focus and the ray which is parallel uh, which is going through this optical center does not deviate and these two rays are intersecting a uh, converging at one point which is behind center so there we got the image so like that if you uh, give the explanation it will be benefit for you now write the procedure of the lab activity to understand lateral shift of the light rays so here we have this is for refraction of light at a plane surfaces chapter okay so this is it, it this is not uh, there in the ts uh, board so it's only for ap students focus uh, don't uh, ts students don't get panic with this question okay so now what is the activity so since he has asked for procedure and also uh, asking uh, procedure of the lab activity right so to it is also for long answer so it's better to write uh, with every single detail like first aim so what is our aim to find the lateral shift of the uh, uh, glass lab okay light rays or lateral shift of the light rays going through the glass lab so that is aim and the materials what are the required materials here so here we generally use a pencil okay and a paper and to place this paper we need a table pins scale all this right so you can mention all these uh, materials here and then uh, comes procedure so in this procedure mention every single detail like in the points okay so don't forget to write the procedure in in the points only because the examiner uh, will get a good impression of the answer so you don't need to find for the terms and the keywords in the answer so so what's the procedure here first we have taken a paper a table uh, you have placed it in a, a table and then you have considered a glass lab you have placed it in the on the paper then give a uh, outline okay after uh, for this outline you have just mentioned a b c d on its uh, edges after that you have, you just take uh, two uh, pins okay on the one one side of the glass lab and you are you are observing these two uh, pins from the other side of the glass lab and also placed other one uh, other two uh, pins in such a way that these two rays i mean these four pins are in the straight line okay then you just need to mark these uh, points and also uh, join this point then remove the uh, glass prism and also join these two points okay this is the point of incidence you can consider and also join two points and then you can observe a pattern like this right so why this happened initially when you are seeing it in uh, observing it from the uh, with, uh, use of uh, glass lens then all these four lines are in the four pins are in the same line right but if you see it clear without glass then you can see this bending why this happen means here it is the first refraction when it is going from one medium to the another medium and this is the second refraction happened so due to this our refracted uh, ray i mean uh, we will get uh, the ray light ray gets diffracted but if you if you consider this if you extended this incident ray then uh, it will be parallel to the emergent ray right why this happened because here this light ray just shifted from its place it look it's looking like it is shifting from its place right so this distance the distance between initial ray and the extended ray you can consider this as extended ray and it is the emergent ray right so the distance between this 
Inst uh, extended ray and emergent ray is nothing but lateral shift we can consider. Got it? So, this uh, you can write it in the conclusion or observation. Fine. And in the conclusion, you can mention that there is an important point about lateral shift. It depends on the it depends on angle of incidence. Okay. So, if the angle of incidence increases, lateral shift increases, angle of in incidence decreases, lateral shift decreases, without this point, you're going to lose at least one mark. So, be uh, better you write this point. Okay. And our next question is, your, so we have uh, one numerical here. So, let's just solve it. So, from this question, we, from this chapter, it is obvious that we'll get numerical sign uh, ray diagram. So, what, is, what he is asking here, write the characteristics, okay, the characteristics of which image uh, convex lens, fine. And the convex lens of focal length is 25 centimeters. So, anyway, convex lens focal length is positive, right. So, I am in, uh, I am taking sign convention as well. When the object is placed at 75 centimeters, so in first case, object is placed at 75 centimeter, object distance is negative. And in the second case, he placed object at... Uh, 50 centimeters right so what i'm doing is here u1 and u2 i'm considering and we i uh, just need to find the v1 and v2 for the uh, object right so for the first case what i'm doing how to find the v1 so here we have lens formula that is 1 by f is equals to 1 by u minus sorry 1 by v minus 1 by u right so i need to find v value so 1 by v is equals to 1 by f plus 1 by u so guys now we just need to substitute the values here so 1 by v is equals to 1 by plus 25 okay and u value is negative so 1 by it is 75 to make it simple you just need to consider 25 common in the denominator then it is 1 by 1 by 3 right so if we uh, remove 1 by 3 from 1 then we'll get 2 by 3 so 25 by 1 by 25 into 2 by 3 right so it is 1 by v then what about v here so v is nothing but v1 is nothing but 75 by 2 got it and what about v2 so let's just uh, solve v2 too so here we can use this formula so 1 by v is equals to what is f f is constant right it is the same and for the same mirror lens we are finding so v u is a minus 20 minus 50 so minus 1 by 50 so to make it simple yes here too you can take 25 common in the denominator and then you'll get 1 minus 1 by 2 so 1 minus half is nothing but anyway will remain with half it is 1 by 20 then in the next step will remain with 1 by v is equals to 50 by 1 right so here we got second v2 is equals to 50 centimeter and this is 75 by 2 is nothing but 36.5 centimeters right so we got a, a object distance now he's asking for the characteristics right so characteristics how to find the characteristics so that is uh, because m1 so if we consider m1 okay for this one m is is equals to what is this uh, v1 by u1 right so what is v here v is uh, 75 by 2 into what is v v anyway we have minus 75 okay so let's just have minus here and 75 75 75 get cancelled minus 1 by 2 right so from this value we can give the characteristics of the image so what are the characteristics here first characteristic a here the characteristic is sign is negative right so we have here a real image okay if it is real of course it is inverted image okay and also what we can uh, write from this information it is anyway uh, it is m value is uh, less than one right so it is a diminished image so these are the characteristics of the image when we place the object at 75 centimeters. Now, in the same way, you can just uh, uh, find the M2 value. M2 is nothing but it is uh, what is what is value V2 by 
U2, right? So what is its value? U2 is 50 and V2, U2, V2 is 50 and of course U2 is also 50. So here we will get minus 1. M2 is minus 1. Now you can uh, give this characteristics of the image for this value in the comment section. Yes, we have one more numerical. But it, I think it's very simple because it is only uh, we need to find the lens makers form. We need to use the lens makers formula and find what he's asked. Find the focal length. So the question is, the question here is a double concave lens with the refractive index is 1, 1 1.5. So it is refractive index is 1.5 and the, uh, it's two spherical surfaces have Brady. R1 is 20 and R2 is 60. Find the focal length of the lens. Write the characteristics. Write focal length he is asking us to find. So before uh, uh, taking the sign convention, let's just check whether it, which lens it is. So it is double con, con uh, cave lens, right? So that means it will be like this. Fine. So if we consider the object here, then this will be our R1 and this will be our R2, right? So, R1 is negative and R2 is positive. So, R1 will be minus 20 and it is the positive 20. Now, let's just simply write the formula. Lens formula is 1 by F is equals to N minus 1 and 1 by R1 minus 1 by R2, right? No, so now let's just substitute the values. So what is n minus 1? n minus 1, 1 1.5 minus 1. And the uh, values 1 by r1. r1 is minus 20. And minus of minus, uh, it is 60. Right? So here the value will be 1.5 minus 1 is simply it is 0 0.5. Right? So I am writing 1 by 2. Okay? And also to make this sim uh, calculation simple, I am just taking minus 1 by 20 common. Okay, then it remained with 1 plus 1 by 3, right? So, what is the bracket term here? So, if you calculate it, 1 by minus 1 by 40 into 4, 4 by 3, this value, 4 1s and 4 10s. So, the 1 by f value will be 1 by f is equals to minus 1 by 30. So, f is nothing but minus 30 centimeter. So, you can check whether it is positive or not. Because you can confirm with the, this single sign because he have uh, he has mentioned con, concave lens, right? For concave lens, uh, focal length is negative. Yes, and finally we got a focal, negative focal length. So this is true. So guys, now let's have the next question. The refractive index, uh, refraction of light uh, uh, through a glass lab with a neat diagram. So it is nothing but the same question which we have discussed uh, uh, a few minutes back that is lateral shift question okay just uh, go back to the question and uh, follow the steps and here yes so i feel this question is very good question to uh, test your knowledge because here he just mentioned he didn't directly mention what is the center and what is focal length and where exactly the object is located. But he just gave the uh, uh, values. If you observe it, here he just simply mentioned the values, right? I mean, uh, the focal length. Now, I'm just drawing the ray diagram. And now you need to tell me where the object uh, is placed. So, guys, this is a convex lens. And also, the, uh, since he has mentioned the uh, focal length, I have taken center and focal length as well because of uh, these two are of same distance. Now, let's go for the cases. So, in the first case, what he asked, the object is uh, is placed at say uh, 8 centimeters, right? So, isn't it between focal length and optical center? So, the object will be located somewhere here. And in the next case, the object is placed 15 centimeters. That means still here it is uh, 10 and bit, exactly between center and focus. Now, third case is that uh, he mentioned he placed object at 10, 20 centimeters. That means exactly on the center. And the last case is he mentioned the, he placed the object at 
25 centimeter that means it's somewhere around behind the uh, focal length i mean the center of curvature right now let's just uh, try to analyze the uh, cases if the object is between focus and uh, optical center then it is diminished sorry not diminished it is virtual okay it is virtual and erect and magnified image okay because since it is placed between focus and optical center and for this it is between center and focal length right now the object is yes anyway we'll get a real image and also real is inverted right and it is enlarged image magnified image because the image formed will be at infinity okay and these are the characteristics and for the object which is which is at uh, uh, center then it is of same size image will get at focus uh, at center only will get this image and also it is of since it is same size real and inverted so these are the characteristics of the image okay so anyway we just need to play, mention the cases right so this is the first option and this is the second and this is c and this is d then what about d d is placed behind the center right so now it is since it is behind the center this uh, characteristics is it gives a real and inverted image and also it forms the image between center and focus right so it it, it is diminished so these are the characteristics of every case now in the question he is asking some characteristics a diminished real inverted image where we'll get see here diminished real and inverted so this is in the case of d and a magnified real inverted magnified real inverted so it is in the case of b and a dimini a virtual magnified erected so virtual magnified erected image will be uh, formed in the case of a and same image of same size as the object so it is in the case of c now you just need to uh, justify your answer why why these are the cases now just i have mentioned right so when we placed object so here you can mention when we play when we'll get uh, this images if you place the object at uh, between center uh, between optical center and focal length so like this you can give the information for each and every case so then only you'll get full marks so guys this is about our uh, all the previous questions from the chapter refraction of light at spherical lenses and also refraction of light at a plane surfaces also for ap students so i hope you have understood the question paper i mean the question formation and the, how many types of question can be asked so i hope uh, you have understood each and every question and also numericals just focus on new numericals and uh, also the ray diagrams from this chapter and yes we'll meet in the next class that is the previous year questions of uh, human eye the next chapter of human eye and colorful world we'll meet in that in that session till then keep learning and bye guys